Greetings, incredible audience. Eligible beneficiaries may see an additional $943 in their monthly income as a result of the major announcement we're making today. Many people may notice a significant increase in their financial assistance as a result of recent changes to benefits. Who is eligible? To find out who can get these raises, we'll look at all the different types of benefits, such as disability, SSI, Social Security, and Supplementary Security Income. Making sure you or someone you know meets the requirements for this chance is of the utmost importance. When the new rates go into effect, how much extra money you might get and other details will be covered. In order to be eligible for these enhanced benefits, you must meet certain requirements. Application procedures, including everything you need to do to apply or review your existing benefits to make sure you're getting the most payment possible. Extra materials, where I may get further details and help with the application. In the coming days, we will explain in detail how you may take advantage of these remarkable developments, so be sure to check back. Important advantage grows as the figures rise. Eligible people receiving Supplemental Security Income SSI might enjoy a monthly benefit boost of up to $943, greatly improving their financial stability. Security Deposit Insurance for Disabled Workers, SSDI, each beneficiary's benefit adjustment will be unique, taking into account their individual circumstances, work history, and contributions. Some beneficiaries may get substantial increases. National Defense to make sure veterans get the money they need, VA benefits will be adjusted across several tiers so that each veteran's situation and service record are taken into account. Inflation and growing living expenses will be partially mitigated by a 3.2% COLA, which will provide a general boost across different benefits. Packages. This breakdown emphasizes the significance of understanding and utilizing the enormous financial support that is available to diverse groups. Realizing the advantages to you. Increases to Supplemental Security Income SSI. A planned increase to the federal benefit rate for Supplemental Security Income will provide recipients with more financial assistance. Make changes to the state supplement. Additional payments are provided to SSI recipients by many states. In the event that federal regulations change, these quantities may likewise be modified. Modifications to resource allocation caps. Beneficiaries can now save. Larger money without jeopardizing their eligibility thanks to an increase to the limitations on countable resources. Some changes to the income exclusion. It is possible that SSI recipients could be able to retain more of their wages if the income calculation for eligibility were to be changed. Adjustments to Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI. Earnings from work are worth more. Workers will find it easier to qualify for SSDI now that the value of work credits which are required has been adjusted. Monthly reimbursements for eligible claimants may increase as the maximum SSDI benefit is recalculated using current earnings information. Income limits for the trial work period, when participants can see how well they do on the job, have been revised to give them greater leeway. Substantial gainful activity limits. How much money an SSDI recipient can make before losing their benefits depends on revisions to the SGA limits. EVA benefit boosts. Pay rates for disability insurance. There will be more help for veterans who have ailments that are related to their service since disability compensation rates are going higher. Dependency perks. The families of veterans who have died as a result of service-related illnesses will get additional help through adjustments to indemnity and dependency compensation. Extra money paid every month. Veterans with significant disabilities or special needs will receive improved benefits as a result of amended eligibility criteria for special monthly pay. Assistance and attendance payments. Veterans who need help with everyday tasks will be able to afford the care they require thanks to increased allowances. Who is eligible? People who are eligible to receive Supplemental Security Income SSI must have low incomes and few assets, proving that they are financially struggling. Have must be 65 or older, blind or crippled. Have their eligibility verified by being a resident of the United States. For SSDI benefits, it is necessary to have worked for a certain amount of time and earned a certain number of work credits ability that meets the criteria set out by Social Security. Medical documentation that substantiates their disability claim. Income that is not too high to qualify for Supplemental Security Income SSDI benefits to be eligible for VA. Benefits, you must have served for a certain amount of time in the military. A handicap rating commensurate with the seriousness of their service-connected illness. The necessary paperwork to back up their request for assistance. To be eligible for the higher benefits, you must meet the current VA standards. How are increases determined? The formula for Supplemental Security Income SSI. The Supplemental Security Income SSI payment is based on the federal benefit rate, which is the base amount set by the federal government. Supplements paid by states to supplement federal benefits amounts vary by state and area. 
The total benefit amount is affected by income considerations, earnings or unearned income, which are factors in the computation. Whether beneficiaries live alone, in a shared dwelling, or in an institutional setting can affect the amount of assistance they receive. Social Security. The disability Insurance, SSDI Calculations. An important factor in calculating average indexed earnings is the amount of labor credits obtained through employment, which is influenced by one's work history. After accounting for inflation, this sum is derived from the worker's highest earning years. A person's job record can affect payments for dependents because the family maximum benefit limits the overall amount a family can receive. The things to think about when dealing with Medicare healthcare planning for recipients is impacted by the fact that Medicare eligibility is typically started after 24 months of receiving SSDI. Math for VA benefits the compensation amount is determined by the disability percentage, which is based on the degree of disability assigned by the VA. Higher percentages result in more payments. Because of their dependent status, veterans may be eligible for additional benefits, which can increase their total compensation. Factors such as being a prisoner of war or having particular injuries related to one's military service can affect the way benefits are calculated. Additional compensation or benefits may be available to veterans who have disabilities due to battle. Schedule for payment SSI the usual date for issuance of payments is the first of every month. SSDI receipts are sent out in accordance with the recipient's birthday, which occurs during designated payment weeks. For Virginia benefits, the payment is typically processed on the first of each month. The eligibility date will be used to compute back pay. To get the most out of your financial journey, subscribe to our channel and be updated on financial assistance programs, benefit changes, and more. If you want to know how the newest news affects your money and well-being, you should subscribe and enable notifications.